Ever since Humpty the Egg first fell off his wall, people have been dreaming up ways to put him together again. This led to the invention of adhesives such as tapes, glues, and a wide range of specialized polymers, none of which did very much for our friend at the base of the wall. Then one of the king's men spoke up and said, why can't other things just heal themselves the same way that we do? This is where the invention of self or autonomic healing materials comes in, which mimic the properties of biological systems like our own. When damage is inflicted to an autonomic healing compound, there is first a near immediate trigger response that works to prevent the loss of further material, somewhat similar to blood clotting. That step is followed shortly by transport of the materials which are necessary for the third process to take place, the actual healing. This is done in a variety of different ways and across different time frames, but there are a couple of basic design outlines which are most frequently used. The first method, aptly named the hollow tube approach, works by utilizing a network of tiny glass or fiber capillaries that are often used already as a way of reinforcing the tensile strength of plastic polymers. Some of these microchannels are then filled with either a highly attractive bonding monomer or a slower working hardening substance, both of which are dispersed if the healing material receives damage such as a cut or a break. This will cause them to mix together, first allowing the monomers to create a bond between the severed sections with the hardening agent causing it to solidify afterward. Since the two reacting agents needed to create the healing are continually replenished from external sources, this type of application tends to trend towards static structural possibilities. The second and perhaps more commonly used design is known as the microcapsule healing method. It is similar in theory to the previous model, but instead of using tiny channels to deliver the bonding monomers, they are encapsulated in a substance which is designed to rupture whenever damage is inflicted that activates the trigger response. Not unlike when a trigger response causes your significant other to release some hostility that they've been encapsulating. Anyways, when these capsules do happen to become ruptured, the monomers inside them mix with a catalyst that is freely distributed in the healing compound around them, allowing for the polymerization bond to take place without the addition of extra heat or influence. While these designs are more autonomous, the lack of an externally fed delivery system means they are less efficient at repairing large damage and will deplete their embedded monomers much more quickly through use, leading them to be looked at more for their protective qualities. Likely it is this type of material that would be used on any articles that you already own that employ self-healing technology, such as the G-Flex series of phones from LG, where the function is purely aesthetic, and if you break the phone in half, it's not just going to whip itself back together. It's just to keep your phone looking shiny. But there is potential for even cooler stuff in the future, and this design model has also been implemented using conductive materials and monomers as well. So when engineers design an electrical circuit that could, like, repair itself after being severed. I mean, think about the applications of this that this could have on the durability and lifespan of electronic components. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, it sounds great. Let's just start making everything out of this stuff so we can go ahead and get on with uh, abusing our devices the way that many of us are habitually want to do. As if any of these videos were ever that simple. While many materials are labeled as self-healing, oftentimes they fall short of true autonomy as they require the use of excess resins during manufacturing and light or heat conditions that need to be applied manually or through the use of a complementing device. So currently these systems are very limited in terms of the amount and type of damage they can repair due to the eventual depletion of either the compound delivery channels or the embedded monomer capsules and catalysts that I mentioned before. So for the time being, it might be best if you refrain from doing your best Jason Voorhees impression and acting like your phone is a counselor at Camp Crystal Lake, unless of course you've got the means to replace it at a moment's notice when your machete ends up slicing it to bits. So while we may never be able to do anything for that pile of soup that was once Humpty, at least in the meantime, we can keep your cell phone from looking dumpty. Well, we certainly acquired some knowledge today, but if you're hungry for more knowledge, you should definitely check out lynda.com. We're well into 2015 and lynda.com thinks it's time to invest in yourself and start learning something new. They're used by millions of people around the world with tons of courses available, lots more being added all the time with topics like web development, photography, visual design, business, coding, other than web development. Web development, of course, can be coding and also things like Excel, WordPress, Photoshop, all kinds of cool stuff. The courses are taught by industry experts and whether you're looking to 
you know, start a new job, make a new job for yourself, start working at home doing freelance work, or you're just looking to develop a hobby, like you love taking pictures and you just wish they didn't suck so much. Well, lynda.com can help you out with all kinds of stuff like that. It's affordable and you can get a 10 day free trial, which gives you access to every course on lynda.com, which is available now, not just on your computer, but also on your iPhone or Android. Phone. So thanks for watching guys. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it sucked. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fastest Possibles just like this one and subscribe if you want to see future Fastest Possibles just like this one.